everyone! Welcome to my channel. Always remember, ignorance of the law, excuses, no one. This is Igali, engineer. Meron tayong um, contracts according to perfection. Uh, meron din naman tayong tinatawag na stages, stages of contracts. Contract. Oh. So perfection is just one of the stages in uh, a life of a contract. contract. So, yes. Ano so, we have three stages mm -hmm. of contracts. Una, yung preparation or negotiation. Second, meron tayong perfection or birth. And yung pantatlo, consummation or termination. Mm -hmm. So, let's uh, proceed with the preparation mm -hmm. or negotiation. I mean, it's self-explanatory. This mm -hmm. includes all the steps taken by the parties leading to the perfection of the contract. Yung kanina, limbawa, mm -hmm. yeah. sabi ko, attorney, attorney, uy, pwede ba bilihin ko na lang tong cellphone na to? Mm -hmm. Uh, tinanong niya ako, magkano? Magkano? Magkano ba yan? Ako <laughs> <laughs> magtatanong. At hindi <laughs> magkano mo babibenta? Ah. Magkano magbibenta? Mga 10K. 10K. Uh -huh. okay. Period na doon. Uh -huh. Is there already a perfection? Attorney Uy? Wala pa. Wala pa. Kasi ano yung kulang sa part oh, ko? Oh, counter offer. Oh. Oh, wala pa siyang, kung pumapayag oh, siya. Oh, oh. Wala pang consent. Acceptance. Oh, oh, acceptance. Oh, acceptance. Oh. Eh pag sinabi ko, pwede bang 8,000 na lang? Period. Is there perfection? Wala pa. Bakit? Kasi hindi pa ako pumapayag. So, ang ginawa ko hindi acceptance, kundi counter-offer. Counter Pero kung oh. sinabi ni Atty. Oy, sige, oh, deal. Sige, deal. 8K. Okay. Oh. Is there a perfected contract? Yes. Yes, there is a perfected Perfect contract, contract in that case. Yes. And yung nangyari sa amin na negotiation as to the price, yun yung tinatawag na preparation, preparation or, or negotiation, negotiation stage. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, uh, after... Kaya ang tawag uh, doon, di ba, sa prices, napapansin nyo, for sale, uh, ref, mm. 10K, negotiable. Mm. Uh, suggested. Oh, oh. Negotiable. Pwede, man, uh, oh, man, pwede man. pang tumawad. Mm -hmm. mm. right. Doon yung tawaran stage. Yes. And then, uh, after ng, uh, ng preparation, preparation mm -hmm. meron ng perfection or birth of the contract. So, next stage is perfection or birth of a contract. This is when the parties have come to a definite agreement or meeting of the minds regarding the subject matter and cause of the contract mm -hmm. under Article 3019 of the Civil mm -hmm. Code. Mm -hmm. Dito naman, nagkasundo na mm -hmm. by mere consent. Kung consensual ang contract. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kung real na, naman. Kung real, eh, di delivery. Eh, eh. Mm -hmm. Doon pa lang, kasi bakit ba mahalaga yung perf malaman natin kung kailan na per-perfect yung contract? Mm, because mm. it's upon the perfection of the contract okay. that obligations between the parties will um, arise. arise. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Unless and until there is perfected contract, there is no obligation to speak, to speak off. off. Correct. Okay. So take note oh, of that. Oh. Go, kasi sa preparation or negotiation, wala pa. Nag-negotiate pa lang. Pero dun sa perfection or birth of the contract once the parties agree o may, may, may mutual may meeting, of oh, minds oh, may meeting of minds kapag consensual na ang contract so uh, obligations between the parties will arise mm -hmm. oh, and it's incumbent simula. on the parties to uh, deliver what has mm -hmm. to be delivered or perform Form. what has, oh. what has to been be stipulated yes oh. okay and uh, by this, the parties are bound to the fulfillment of what has been expressly stipulated. That's according to Article 13, 15 of the Civil Code. And compliance thereof must be in good faith yeah. according to Article 1159 11, of the Civil Code. Okay? Yes. So there must be good faith to fulfill. No, compliance in good faith. Yes. yes. So, the parties are also bound to all the consequences which, according to their nature, may be in keeping with good faith, usage, and law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, kung tapos ka sa preparation or negotiation, then there is already a perfection of the contract, and there is what we call consummation or, or termination. termination. Hindi natatapos sa perfection, no? Mm -hmm. Doon sa consummation or termination. So, this is when the parties have performed their respective obligations and the contract may be said to have been fully accomplished or executed resulting in the extinguishment or termination, termination thereof. thereof. So, halimbawa, sa example ko kanina, gusto kong bilhin ng cellphone ni Attorney Uy. Yes. Nagkasundo kami sa presyo ng 8,000 pesos. There is already preparation, negotiation, and then perfection of the contract. 
pero hindi pa tapos ang ang aming yes. contract. Uh, uh, uh. Kasi until and unless maibigay niya sa akin yung cellphone at maibayad ko sa kanya yung 8,000 pesos, the contract still um, subsist. subsist. Mm -mm. Okay? So, pag naibigay sa akin na attorney o yung cellphone, nabayaran ko yung 8,000 pesos, yun yung, yung consummation, consummation or, or termination. So, ano yung alam? Because extinguishment. Extinguish na. Okay, uh -huh. so, hiwahiwalay na kami kasi wala na, wala na kaming pag-usapan. Uh, okay? Alright. So, definitely, at ano yung meron at merong mga parties or persons that are affected by a contract. Okay. Who are these persons? So, unang-una dyan, yung parties, their assigns, and heir. Mm -hmm. And yung meron ding third person. Possibly, uh -huh. uh, in certain cases. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, self-explanatory. The, the parties, nung sabi naman natin kanina, kung ikaw ay pumasok sa isang kontrata, ay di affected ka niyan, mm -hmm. di ba? As a general rule. And it takes effect between the two of you as, yes. as parties to the contract. Yung assigns naman, ano ba yung assigns? Di ba ako, ako um, <laughs> party ako to the contract, yes. pwede kong i-assign sa iba yung rights ko dun sa contract na meron kami. A ako, ako ay maging assigner, yung aking binigyan ng right, maging an assignee. An assignee. Mm -hmm. Yung heirs naman, hindi yung mga tagapagmana. Okay. In mm -hmm. the case of your... Compulsory or uh, good heirs. You'll die. Mm -hmm. Meron ka na bang ano? Oo, oh, oh, meron ako. Meron akong compulsory heir. <laughs> wow. Okay. Succession mm -hmm. ito. <laughs> right. May exception dyan. Okay. May exception na tayo. Yes, yeah, so exceptions. The cases when contracts are effective only between the parties or when the rights and obligations arising from the contract are not transmissible. Yeah. Ito na yung sinasabi natin kanina. Uh, uulitin lang namin para mas lalo nyo maintindihan, lalo tumatak sa inyo para yeah. pagdating yung exam, madami kayong masagot. Uh -oh. So, yun nga, kapag intransmissible, edi eh, hindi pwedeng ipasa sa heirs and assigns. Yeah. Exception to the general rule, mm -hmm. pwedeng by their Trans nature. Mm -hmm. Intransmissible, mm -hmm. kagaya nga nung personal qualifications. Yung, oh, oh, as such as painting, singing, we have discussed this in our previous modules. Mm -hmm. So, pwede din namang by stipulation. Ito na din yung sinabi namin kanina. The parties may stipulate that... Uh, even if, a, nature, yes. pwedeng, even if by nature, pwedeng intransmissible. Transmissible siya, pero ah. the parties ah, may stipulate yeah. For their intransmissibility. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So, pwede ding by provision of law, they are intransmissible. Yun yung sinasabi namin kanina, yung partnership, komodatum, or agency. Mm -hmm. oh. And um, when death extinguishes the legal relationships. Yes. Okay. That's according to Article 1178 of mm -hmm. the New, New Civil, Civil Code. Code. Okay. Pwede din naman yung, yung parties or yung persons affected by a contract ay yung third person. Mm -hmm. Paano? Attorney Manhattan. Well, as a general rule, uh, third mm -hmm. persons uh, have no rights and obligations under a contract. Since, of course, they are not privy to the contract. Mm -hmm. no? And, kumbaga, hindi sila kaabat-usap. So, Baka oh, magkakaroon ng obligasyon at <laughs> karapatan dyan. Uh -oh. But, uh, of course, um, uh, they are, well, in that case, the third persons are stranger to the contract. contract. Wala silang knowledge, wala silang kinalaman yeah, doon. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, the third person has no standing in contract. And, and uh, again, he has um, no right to demand for the enforcement of uh, whatever it is that uh, should be enforced under the contract. Okay. But uh, that is just general rule kasi meron namang uh, exception doon. We're yes. in a third person, we still have uh, rights yes. and obligations uh -huh. um, arising from the contract even if hindi sila private. Example, mm -hmm. um, when third persons may be affected by a contract among such cases or the following at or new or new So, in contracts containing a stipulation in favor of a third person or a stipulation per autrui, mm -hmm. or pwede din naman contracts creating real rights, mm -hmm. Under Article 1312 mm -hmm. of the New Civil Code, mm -hmm. pwede ding in contracts entered into to defraud the creditors. Mm -hmm. Under Article 1313 mm -hmm. of the New Civil Code, pwede din naman yung contracts which have been violated at the inducement of a third person. Under Article 1314 mm -hmm. of so, the Civil Code. Yes, so nag-mention nag kanya ng apat mm -hmm. attorney. And the first one is 
um, when there is a stipulation uh, for a true win, no? that's mm -hmm. under Article 13.11, Paragraph 2. So, ibig sabihin, kung may na-mention dun sa contract yes. na pangalan ng isang tao for whom the contract was executed, for yes. example, and that for his person, benefit. for his benefit. Oh, oh, Alimbawa, yeah. um, beneficiary sa isang insurance uh, uh, policy. policy. Diba? Kung tutusin, hindi naman siya kaabat usap dun sa usapan eh, kasi mm -hmm. it's just between the insurer and, and the, the insurance and the, the insurer insurance. and the insured yes. and or, or the person who procured such insurance and yet this third person designated as beneficiary has the rights over uh, the proceeds, proceeds of that of insurance policy. Uh, oh, so, oh. so, so kahit siya stranger, kahit mm -hmm. siya third person, hindi siya kaabag-usap dun mm -hmm. sa uh, insurance contract, mm -hmm. it is them that uh, he is a party mm -hmm. kasi he is affected by the contract. That's an exception to the guarantee. Mm -hmm. uh, another example, yung nabanggit mo, Tony Uy, yung mm -hmm. sign contracts entered into to defraud uh, creditors under Article 1313 of the New Civil Code. Mm -hmm. Alam natin yan, di ba? Yes. Kung ikaw creditor, tapos ako yung debtor mo, uh -oh. nagbenta ako ng lupa, uh -oh. and obviously naman, na kaya ako binenta yung lupa para ma-evade ko yung obligation ko sa'yo, would you have the right? Of course, mm -hmm. you know, diba? I can go to court yes. and ask the court to rescind or to cancel the contract entered into to defraud me mm -hmm. as a creditor. Take note of that, diba? Kasi may usapan natin yan under obligations, eh. One of the remedies of the creditors whenever the debtor yes. wouldn't uh, pay yes. his uh, or do. Could that, could that satisfy yes. the payment in full? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take note of that, okay? Now, um, after what we've tackled so far, um, nabanggit na naman natin nga kanina yung essential requisites of contracts, right? Yes. Um, and uh, under essential requisites of contracts, uh, meron tayong general provisions yes. under Article 1318 of the New Civil Code mm -hmm. and the Attorney. So, Article 1318, there is no contract unless the following requisites concur. First, consent of the contracting parties. Second, object certain which is the subject matter of the contract and last uh, cause of the obligation which is established mm -hmm. yun yung sinasabi namin kanina na COC mm, take note ha, big mm -hmm. word to, no contract unless itong mm -hmm. COC na to ay mag-exist mm -hmm. okay. so there are different classes of elements of a contract yes. so no, banggit nga natin yung essential elements and ang um, essential elements, they are those without which no contract can validly exist. So, pag wala ang essential elements, ang isa, wala, ang isa, kahit isa, isa doon, uh -huh. walang valid contract na mag -e exist yes. And uh, they are also known as requisites of a contract. First of which is common, common. or those present yeah. in all contracts. Yan, yan na yung COC. Laging may COC in all kinds of contracts. Common yan sa lahat ng yes. contracts. Under Article 1318 of the Civil Code. Kung may common, may tinatawag tayong special. Special. Ano special? Parang right? special lobby. Halo, halo. <laughs> lobby. Butom na ako, may lobby kami sa likod. Eh. So, uh -oh, parang na yung special lobby. <laughs> so special, pero dito, special elements. Mm -hmm. Ito naman yung those not common to all contracts or those which must be present only in or peculiar to, peculiar to certain specified contracts. And such peculiarity may be as regards to form, as regards to subject matter, or as regards the consideration or cause. Ito na yung sinasabi natin kanina na kailangan in a public instrument mm -hmm. or the donation of a real property must be embodied in a public instrument. Mm -hmm. So, so ibig sabihin ng public instrument, uh, kailangan hindi lamang written, kailangan notarized. Mm -hmm. Same as sale with public, sale, same as the sale of real property, mm -hmm. ganun din. Kailangan in a public instrument din. Oh, kasi kung hindi, magiging unenforceable. Mm -hmm. Kaya sa akin na kayo magpanatahan. Oo, sa akin na. kailangan yun. Okay? So kung meron tayong uh, essential, meron tayong tinatawag na natural, natural uh, elements. elements. Uh, those that are presumed to exist in certain contracts, mm -hmm. Unless the contrary is expressly stipulated by the parties, like warranty against eviction or warranty against hidden defects in sale. Oh, yun na yun. natin yung kanina yun, no? presumed to exist. And ganun din yung accidental elements na. Mm -hmm. and that's under Article 1306. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, but uh, isa-isahin natin para mas maging malinaw. No? Yes. Yung essential requisites kasi important. Yun yung yun. mahalaga talaga yung COC. Yes. 
punta tayo sa consent. Yes. That's under Article 3019 yes. of the Civil Code. Yes. So, Article 3019, consent is manifested by the meeting of the offer and the acceptance upon the thing and the cause which are to constitute the contract. The offer must be certain and acceptance absolute. A mere qualified acceptance constitutes a counter-offer. Counter Acceptance made by letter or telegram does not bind the offerer, except from the time it came to his knowledge. The contract, in such a sense, in such a case, is presumed to have been entered into in the place where the offer was made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, eh, may natin kung yes. anong sinasabi ng consent kasi napakalagay. Na. Uh -huh. Consent, of course, it's the conformity or occurrence of wills, which means the offer and acceptance and mm -hmm. with respect to contracts. Mm -hmm. It is the agreement of the will of one contracting uh, party with that of another others upon the object and the terms of, of the, the contract. contract. Sabi kasi, a consent is manifested by the meeting of the offer and the acceptance, acceptance upon the thing mm -hmm. and the cause which are to constitute the contract. Mm -hmm. So it presupposes legal capacity and the fulfillment of conditions should any be attached. Mm -hmm. So yun nga, dapat may legal capacity mm -hmm. to give consent of course. And kailan ba nagkakaroon ng legal capacity? Oh, na, if you're of legal age. Uh -huh. so, yeah. yun, of legal age. So 18 years old of and above. Mm -hmm. So if there is absolutely no consent, there is no contract. Mm. Alam ba ba? Sinabi ko dun sa'yo kanina dun mm -hmm. sa cellphone na turn away. Pwede ka mong bilhin yung cellphone na yan. Sabi mm -hmm. mo, ten, for 10,000. Mm -hmm. Tapos sabi ko, pwede bang 8,000 na lang tapos pumayag si attorney away? 8,000. Diba sabi natin kanina, perfect na yung contract. Mm -hmm. Pati yung biglang sabi ko, joke! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Joke lang ako. Yeah, uh, uh, diba? So, is there really a consent in that case? So, dahil there is no intention mm -hmm. to enter into a contract of sale, Therefore, there is no contract to begin with kasi walang consent. Ang sabi natin, dapat there must be an intention for the parties to enter into a contract or to be bound by the contract. So kung wala, kung walang intention to be bound by the contract, there is no consent. And, and since there is no consent, kulang yung essential requisites that will make the contract valid and enforceable. Mm -hmm. So, if there is absolutely no consent, as in mm -hmm. the case of a joke, then there is no contract. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. The agreement may be considered inexistent or, or non existent or, yes. or void. And the same rule applies in the case of absolutely simulated contract, one where the parties never intended to, to be, be bound. So, of course, kung nag -joke ka, there, there is never, uh, there is no intention, intention. to be bound. Mm -hmm. with the same. How about if there is a uh, vitiation of consent? Yeah. So if anyway? there is vice of consent or vitiated consent, such as error, fraud, or undue influence, the contract is not void but merely voidable. Mm -hmm. Take mm -hmm. note of that. Ha? Kanina, no, no consent at all, absolutely no consent, ang status ng contract ay sinabi natin na void, void or inexistent mm -hmm. or inexistent. So, Again, the difference naman, if there is a uh, vitiated consent, mm -hmm. there, there's a consent. However, yes. the consent was procured through pending ng kamali lang. Fraud, intimidation, Tinapot, uh -oh. So in that Influence. case, ang status lang ng contract, hindi void ha. Merely voidable. Okay? Ibig sabihin ng voidable, it's, it's valid, valid until now. Okay? So, mas mapapag-usapan natin yan sa uh, lahat. Kasi yung, some, yung ibang students, they confuse void and voidable. Mm -hmm. Akala nila, isa lang yun. Yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Magkaiba yun. Oo, oh, oh, okay? magkaiba yun. So, after yung consent natin, of course, may kinatawag tayong offer. Offer. May na-mention din tayo kanina doon sa Article 1319 na offer and acceptance. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so what ano is an offer? offer? So, this is when one party makes a proposal to another to enter in a contract. Mm -hmm. It, it, it should be understood as more than just an expression of desire or hope. It should really be a promise to act or to refrain from acting on condition that the terms they offer accepted by the person to whom it is made. Mm -hmm. So, dapat malino no? Na talagang may ino offer yung yes. party. Hindi pwede yung mere expression lang daw ng hope or desire lang. Mm -hmm. Ano ba? Sinabi ko kaya, Tony, na 
Gusto ko nga sana bilhin yung ano mo eh. Yeah, uh, cellphone mo, mo eh. Gusto uh, ko nga sana. Uh, uh, This isn't your hope. K- kaysa dun sa, uh, bilhin ko na yun, uh, 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 10,000 pesos. Uh, uh, Nakita niyo yung difference ng uh, offer na yun at saka yung isang mere hope, hope or yes. desire lang yan, di ba? Okay, so now, as we get acceptance, kung may yes. offer, may acceptance. Acceptance is... So this is when the offeree makes a manifestation of his assent to the terms of the offer. Without such acceptance, there can be no meeting of the minds between the parties. Mm, so that's in mm-hmm. Article 1302 of the New Civil Code, Code of the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Parang ganito lang yan eh. Ang contract, it's two-way. Yes. Parang sa relationship. Mm-hmm. Two-way. Two-way. Hindi Given. pwedeng isa lang ang mag-de-decide. <laughs> yes. So kapag may nag-offer daw at may nag-accept, mm-hmm. okay. mahirap naman yung offer ka ng offer. Pinagpipilitan naman yung sarili mo. Hindi, Wala ayaw naman niyang tanggapin. Oo. So, huwag niyong ipagpilitan kung ayaw Ay, yeah. oh, okay. okay? Tatandaan niyo yan. Love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Naging love okay. naman ito. Don't love. Okay, so for example, attorney, oy, panalo, offered to sell to Harry a particular house and lot for, let's say, 3 million pesos. Before Harry could communicate his consent, panalo decided to withdraw the offer. Was panalo allowed to do so? And the why? answer is yes. Mm-hmm. Panalo is allowed by law to withdraw such offer since in this case, there was no meeting of the minds between the parties yet. Mm-hmm. Hence, no contract had been perfected between Manalo and Harry. Mm-hmm. And Harry. Mm-hmm. So, sinabi mo dun, uh, Attorney Oy, na there was no meeting of minds yet. Yes. Because, ano ba nangyari? Offer pa lang. Offer pa lang. Mm-hmm. Of, wala pang acceptance on, on the, the part, part of, of Harry. Harry. And, the withdrawal by the offer was made before uh, the acceptance was made by mm-hmm. Harry. Pero kung ang nangyari doon is yes. that um, uh, prior kay Panalo, mm-hmm. uh, offering it to another uh, supposed buyer, ay eh, nag-express na, nag-intimate yeah. na ng uh, um, uh, acceptance. acceptance itong si uh, uh, Harry. Perfect na yung contract uh, doon. Yes. And, uh, hindi Kasi meron ng... Price, which is 3 million pesos. Mm, certain. Oo. May consideration. Ang subject matter niya is yung house and lot. Mm-hmm. And yung consent ay nag-manifest na yung, or nag-meeting na yung offer and the uh, acceptance, mm-hmm. which is absolute. So that, that's a great uh, way of approaching the problem. What mm-hmm. uh, attorney Uy did, no? So she looked on the essential elements mm-hmm. yung existence noon. So nasabi niya merong consent, uh, uh, may, may, may object, object merong um, cost or consideration. Ang nawala ay consent. consent. Sabi natin, pag wala pa yung consent, hindi eh, wala pang contract na pag-uusapan. Okay? Mm-hmm. Take note of that. So in that case, Panalo was justified in offering the said uh, lot, house and lot, to another okay. supposed buyer. Okay? Paano ba natin masasabi at turn yung na valid? There's a valid acceptance. acceptance. So, that's to be valid, the acceptance must be manifested by the occurrence of the offer and the acceptance with respect to object and cause. Mm-hmm. Mm. And there must be a legal capacity of the parties. Mm-hmm. So, take note ha, dalawa yun. Una is that may, may occurrence nga daw ng offer and acceptance with respect to the object and the cause. And then, mm-hmm. there must be legal capacity. Uh, given yun eh, you cannot enter into a contract unless you, you are legally capacitated yes. to do so. Um, pero attorney, uy, meron bang definition talaga sa civil code kung sino yung legally capacitated or uh, yung definition ng legal capacity? Uh, there is no, uh, there is nothing in the civil code that defines who has capacity. It does, however, define who have no who has no capacity by which it can be thus inferred that the general rule is capacity which exists mm-hmm. in those of whom the law has not denied it. Mm-hmm. The burden of proof then is on the party who asserts incapacity to the other. So, so a general rule is... Everyone has capacity. Yes, <laughs> everyone has the capacity to act. So, he who, ganun pa rin, he who alleges should prove. So, if you're claiming that attorney Uy has no capacity in entering the contract, then you have to prove that in fact, she doesn't have the capacity to enter into such a contract. Yes. Okay? 